Bollinger Bands aim to create a dynamic view of market volatility. Let's look at the structure, concept, and use of Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands are classified within the technical trend indicators. They are also composed of three bands, the upper, the middle, and the lower. These are drawn in relation to the fluctuations of the currency pairs. The middle band is taken from the simple moving average of 20 periods or any other time frame depending on the preferences of the trader. The upper band is calculated in somewhat of a more complex way. Since the simple moving average is added twice, the standard deviation of the 20 period moving average double the standard deviation is used for up to 68% more accurate results. This is considered to be the most appropriate signal. This is because the standard deviation of the 20 day SMA would cause an excess of signals to be sent exposing the individual trader to a speculation scenario. The lower band is calculated in the exact same way, but instead of adding a 20-day SMA, it is subtracted. Let's look at the signals provided when using Bollinger Bands. First, we need to understand more clearly how Bollinger Bands can be interpreted as trading indicators. To do this, we we'll divide market movements into three subcategories. These are the market swing, the uptrend movement, and the downtrend movement. Number one is the swing of the market in Bollinger Bands. As we see here, the upper and lower Bollinger Bands are considerably narrow. This should alert a trader that an upper trend is brewing and that he should be patient. Number two is the upper trend of Bollinger Bands. Right now, we'll stay on this chart. Here we see the Bollinger Bands provided a clear, busy signal. This is when the price closed above the upper band. And lastly, three, the downward trend of the Bollinger Bands. In this chart here, we see that the Bollinger Band offered a very clear sell signal when the price closed below the lower band. Let's look at risk management when it comes to Bollinger Bands. It's strongly recommended that you always have a good risk strategy in place so that your account can be replenished after your first or second false signal. And make sure you subscribe to XCB to learn more about trading and investing.